Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 versus the MediaTek Dimensity 9300. So we're going to find out which one of these two flagship Android system on chips is the most powerful one in 2024. To start off with, let's talk about the core architecture of both of these system on chips, which are completely different by the way. So the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 has a 1 plus 5 plus 2 setup where 1 is a big core, 5 medium cores and 2 little cores as well. On the contrary, the Dimensity 9300 has a 4 plus 4 setup where there are 4 big cores and 4 medium cores. Yes, the Dimensity 9300 doesn't have any little course, which I feel is a really brave move. On the GPU side of things, you've got the Arduino 750 on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, whereas the Dimensity 9300 has the ARM Immortalis G720 MC12. That's quite a mouthful. But both of these GPUs are very powerful and top of the class. You also get great gaming specific features like global illumination and ray tracing as well. All right, enough of the spec talk. Let's move on to the benchmarks. In Antutu, remember how when I spoke about the Vivo X100 actually scored the highest Antutu score that we've recorded at Tracking Tech till now of over 2.5. 1 million points. If you haven't watched that yet, it should pop up right now. But when we ran the test again, the Snapdragon Agent 3 inside the IQ12 actually beat the Dimensity 9300. Which means that the added to score that you might get with the Snapdragon Agent 3 or the Dimensity 9300 is a bit of a seesaw affair. So sometimes Dimensity will win, sometimes you know, Snapdragon will win. Now we also ran Geekbench and the Dimensity 9300 actually does score higher in the multi-core score. This was to be expected considering the big medium configuration only on the Dimensity 9300. Whereas, you know, you get the big, medium, little configuration on the Snapdragon Agent 3. Now, benchmarks like we saw are kind of unpredictable most of the times, but what matters is sustained performance and real world performance. Now, to start off with sustained performance, we generally run like a 40 thread, 30 minute test of CPU throttle, and we also run the 3D Mark Wildlife stress test. In our CPU throttle test, where we engaged 40 threads for 30 minutes, like I mentioned, the IQ12 returned a score of 82% stability, whereas the Dimensity 9300 toting Vivo X100 scored 79%. Now, both of these scores are pretty good, and generally, you don't have to worry about throttling performance on both these chips, provided they're tuned really well. On Vivo and IQ phones, they seem to be tuned fairly well. Now, before running the 3D Mark Wildlife test test, IQ has a monster mode. We actually switched that on that actually pushes the performance to the peak. And on Vivo, you do not get any such monster mode, but you have this ultra game mode. And within that, you get a boost mode. So we switched that on. And interestingly, the GPU stability was better on the X100 compared to the IQ 12. The X100 actually scored 70.9% stability compared to 66.2% on the IQ 12. However, there is a caveat that you guys need to note. The X100 gets hotter and it also loses more battery life as well. And as you can notice in our test, the X100 actually touched a peak of 47 degrees, whereas the IQ12 reached 40 degrees only. And more importantly, the X100 lost 24% battery life, whereas the IQ12 only lost 7%. I prefer the IQ12 steering because you can take a little bit of hit in the GPU stability if you actually get better battery life and the phone doesn't heat too much either. And that was to be expected considering the IQ12 is more tuned towards gaming performance performance than the X100 is, which is meant to be a camera phone. Regardless, we also did do a real world gaming test where we actually played one hour, actually a little more than one hour of Genshin Impact on both these phones. And interestingly, both the phones run extremely stable for 60 minutes. We play at the highest settings and at 60 FPS, and we got an average FPS of 59.8 on both the phones. In real world gaming, where we actually tested a very graphically intensive game like Genshin Impact, which is actually one of the most graphically intensive intensive games out there, both these phones are well matched and they don't break a sweat. I think the iQOO 12's bigger vapor cooling chamber is also coming in handy out here because it seems to be cooling the device slightly better than uh, you know what the X100 is doing with the Dimensity 9300. So our final analysis is that the Snapdragon Agent 3 and the Dimensity 9300 are extremely close in terms of performance. But the Snapdragon Agent 3 is an easier beast to tame compared to the Dimensity 9300 because of the core architecture. And from my first batch of testing, what I could tell is that the Dimensity 9300 could run hotter and could lose more battery life. It is not tamed really well. So that's the thing about the Vivo X100 compared to the IQ12. Although one other problem to consider is that most OEMs will end up considering the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for their flagship phones compared to the Dimensity 9300. Apart from the Vivo X100 series, I don't know if we will see many phones this year, at least in India, that come with the Dimensity 9300. So it'll be interesting to see if that changes this year. What do you guys think? Will that happen or not? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, in one of our previous videos, I had asked you guys to comment on what do you guys think of the peak brightness metrics that you know brands are talking about these days? We got many comments of which I found two really interesting. So I don't know what this handle's name is, but it says Music Tales Empty. Now this comment says peak brightness is like a 
glow up competition for screens. They're basically saying our phone is so bright, it could light up your life and your neighbors too. It's not just a device, it's a portable flashlight with an attitude. Very, very creative. And Rupesh Prabhu has a very interesting analogy and I really like good analogies, so here goes nothing. Brands mention peak brightness just like car manufacturers mention top speed. Not every time we'll be able to get it. Very interesting, Rupesh. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the Snapdragon Agent 3 and the Dimensity 9300 in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.